when you export a video to YouTube, you want to make sure that it's the correct volume level, otherwise YouTube is going to compress it and normalize it and potentially make the audio sound rubbish. We want to be in control of this, so come over to the Fairlight page. And if you don't see these meters here, click on this button here to open them. There's two main values we need to get correct when it comes to YouTube loudness. The first is the true peak. You can see that value here. This is essentially the loudest point in the video and it takes into account technical things such as the conversion from the digital audio to the analog output. For YouTube, this should be no louder than negative one. The second important value is this integrated value. This measures the loudness over a longer period of time. We need to make sure this is kept to negative 14 or quieter. Luckily, with later versions of DaVinci Resolve, if you come up and click on these three dots here, we now have a YouTube preset when it comes to loudness. So select this YouTube preset, and this is gonna set the correct things up in the meter. You may also want to come back and click these three dots and make sure lock metering to transport is ticked. This will reset the meters anytime you click anywhere else in the timeline and start playing back. Just makes things a bit quicker. Let's go and start playing this back and watch what happens up here in the meters. You can see the true peak is about negative 14, negative 13, and the integrated loudness, this is measured in LUFS, is about negative 27. What this tells us is this video is too quiet and we need to increase the volume. In this video, we're assuming that you've set all of the individual volumes for the clips, and you've also set the track faders here to be the correct volume for each of the tracks. You can increase these track faders to increase the volume of specific channels, but assuming you've got everything roughly balanced, there's another way we can increase the volume for YouTube. What you need to do is come over to this bus one channel here, come up to the effects and click this little plus button, come down and find the dynamics submenu and select limiter. This will open up this limiter. A limiter will prevent the volume going over a set level. You set this level by changing the ceiling here. So technically for YouTube, we could set this to negative one, but I actually like to set it a little bit quieter to negative 1.5, just to give us a bit of wriggle room. Just gonna hit spacebar to play this back. On the left here, you can see the volume that's coming into the limiter. And on the right, you can see the volume that's going out of the limiter. And this section tells you how much the volume has been reduced. So you can see we're not actually reducing the volume at the minute and all of these peaks, this is the loudness of the video, it's not even hitting this blue line, which is the ceiling that we've set. Because we know the true peak here is nowhere near negative one, and we know that integrated loudness is nowhere near negative 14, we wanna boost the volume. We can do that really simply by increasing this level of the input on the limiter. Let's go and set this to something around seven and play this back again. And you can see up here now, the true peak is a bit louder, about negative five-ish, and the integrated loudness is about negative 20. So we still have some more loudness to introduce. If I max out this input level and play this back, you can see now that the integrated loudness is going red. That's because it's way over or way louder than the negative 14 that YouTube allows. Notice that the true peak hasn't got any louder than negative one, and that's because we've set this ceiling here at negative 1.5. So we're never going to get a loudness over that ceiling level. The limiter is going to limit it. So we need to reduce this input level because we're far too loud on the integrated. We'll set this to 14 and play a little bit back just to make sure we're in the right ballpark. So we're about the negative 17 now. Let's increase this to 15 and start playback again. Now we're too loud. So we'll try somewhere about 14.5, play that back. Still too loud, we'll drop it back to 14 and play this back. And now we're roughly in that negative 14. You can see it's turned yellow to tell us we're in the right ballpark, but we've still gone a little bit over at negative 13.7. So in this first step, we're just getting these values close. I'm gonna show you a quick way of actually checking the loudness level for the whole video. You don't wanna to have to play it back from start to finish just to check these levels. Come up to the timeline menu and come down and choose bounce mix to track. In this drop down, select new track and click okay. What this is gonna do is it's essentially gonna render just the audio in the video, combine it into a single audio file, and then add that to the timeline. I just collapse these empty audio tracks, or better yet, right click and remove these empty tracks. This is the audio file that was just created. Right click on this and come up and choose Analyze Audio Levels. Make sure this YouTube preset is selected and then click Analyze. You can see the true peak is negative 1.7, so that's not too loud. It's under the negative one loudness for YouTube, but the integrated loudness is negative 13.3 LUFS, and the maximum this can be is negative 14. 
So we've got a bit of extra room for the true peak, but we've got too much overall loudness. I'm just going to close this and always make sure that you delete this new WAV file here. Otherwise, you'll get doubled up audio. So what I'm actually going to do, is I'm just going to reduce this ceiling to negative 1.4. And I'm just going to reduce the input to 13.6. Once again, come up to the timeline menu, choose bounce mix to track, choose new track and click OK. Wait for DaVinci Resolve to do its thing. Once again, we get our new audio file, select it, right click, choose analyze audio. Video, click analyze and you can see we're still too loud at negative 13.7 but the true peak is now negative 1.6 we'll close that and we'll reduce this input to 13.1 once again delete the rendered audio come back and do the whole thing over again even though this might seem a bit tedious it's a lot quicker than playing the entire video back from start to finish every time you make a change let's analyze this again now the integrated value has turned from red to yellow, telling us that we're under that negative 14 LUFS and also the true peak is yellow, telling us that we haven't gone over the maximum true peak for this loudness standard for YouTube. You don't necessarily have to get negative one and negative 14 for these values. I usually like to get the true peak about the negative 1.5 and the integrated loudness somewhere between negative 14 and negative 14.9.